Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Anna and I'm a vegan living in London, originally from the US and Japan. And today I have a supermarket haul. And it is not just any supermarket, it is my local Asian grocery store. I don't even know the name of it because I just call it my local Asian grocery store, but I will look it up and I will put it on the screen so that there's a bit more context. It recently opened up. I've been going there mostly for like tofu and kimchi and stuff, but I realized that they have a lot of faux meat snacks and just like fun looking snacks that I wanted to try. So I got them and some of them are not um, Chinese, like this one is well, I don't know. It's from a brand called Oishi, which is a Japanese word that means delicious. But this looks actually, never mind. yeah, this is definitely Chinese. There's like um, only Chinese characters on this. So it is not a Japanese product, but the brand name is confusing. Um, but yeah, most of these are Chinese or Taiwanese perhaps. I'm not really sure. I, I don't really know like the difference between simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese, so um, yeah, apologies if I am not factually correct. Like I said, a lot of them are like soy meat, faux meat kind of products. So let's start with, let's just start with what's in the middle, okay? We got mini la tiao, taste of China, taste of the wor world, hot and spicy gluten chips. Okay, it's made with wheat gluten, soy, mustard, some flavorings. Let's try it. I'm actually quite hungry, so. Ooh, it smells barbecue-y. Oh wow, they're like tiny and like translucent almost. Whoa, it tastes kind of bacony. It's not bad. It's pretty spicy. It's a little oily, like greasy. The texture is like not what you'd expect. I don't know, I thought it would be like more hearty, like more chewy, but it's quite light actually. I like it. I'll give it like, a seven out of 10, just cause like, I don't know. It's good, but it's not like amazing out of this world. So I'll give it a seven. Okay, next let's go, let's do this one. This is a seasoned soy meat snack from a brand called Zen Xian. Zen Xian. I can read this in Japanese, it's, um. Oh God, dai. Daisusehi, which means soy product. Um, and yeah, I think this means like soy meat, soy vegetable meat kind of thing. Oh, well, it has like kind of a weird smell. Okay, so it looks quite different from the first one. It's more, it's a larger cut. I like this one too. Ooh, it's kind of spicy. Oh, spicy. This whole bag is 80 grams. 100 grams gives you 18 grams of protein. So this, this whole thing gives you like, what, like 16 grams of protein, 15, 16 grams? Not bad, but you'd have to eat this whole thing, which is a lot. Another soy product, soy meat product. This is dried bean curd hot and spicy flavor again. I didn't realize I got only spicy flavor, but I guess that's just like what I tend to reach for because I love spicy food. Um, this one looks a bit more like wet. I know that doesn't sound right, but like it just seems more like saucy, I suppose. This is from Taiwan. It says Taiwan on the back here. Oh, wow. I just pulled out a huge piece. I don't know if this is one piece. Oh wow, it's pretty big. Okay, look at that, one piece. And it's dropping. Okay, let's try it. Mm. 
This might be my favorite so far. Mmm. Very flavorful, chewy, good texture, not too greasy. I'll give this a 10. Sorry, I forgot to rate. This one I'll give a six. I don't know, six, six and a half. This I'll give a 10 because this is my favorite so far. This is my last soy product. This is a soybean roll, also spicy flavored. Yeah, it essentially looks like it's just like rolls of soy. Oh, they're individually packaged this time. Whoa, look at that. They're like little mini beef jerkies, I suppose. Oh God, I don't want it to like splatter everywhere. Ooh, this is fun. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to bite in? Oh, I think I'm supposed to individually. Oh, okay. It's like dog food. Well, it tastes like beef jerky, literally. This is like Asian beef jerky. I like it. It does taste quite processed, like it does not taste natural at all. I mean, none of these products really taste natural, but I think this one tastes the least natural. But the texture is good, flavor is good. I do like it. I'll give it a seven and a half. Let's move on to the non like soy foamy products. So this is broad bean snack, I believe. The broad bean? Yeah, broad. <laughs> this is also hot and spicy, oh my God. I'm realizing this is like a theme that I accidentally fell into or like put myself into. Um, but yeah, it's spicy broad beans. I usually like these kinds of like roasted uh, bean type of snacks. So I think I'll like this one. Oh, it smells sweet. It's bizarre. Bizarre. It's super sweet. This is just oh, this is not good. It is not hot and spicy. I don't, this is really weird. It is just sweet. It's like coated in sugar. Oh, it is so fake. Oh no, that's the, that's a zero. Zero out of 10. I can't even look at it like, wow, why is that so bad? Yeah, don't get that. Don't buy that. Nope. Okay, I just want to get that flavor out of my mouth, so I'm gonna move on. Ooh, this also smells sweet, but it smells better. Okay, this is a corn snack, sweet corn pops. I love popcorn, and I love these kinds of like snacks that are like crunchy, like pirate's booty, you know? So like I said before, this is from a brand called Oishi, which I guess is a Chinese brand with a Japanese name. Or maybe they like export Japanese snacks. I don't really know. Mmm. This is good. It tastes like corn version of Pirate's Booty. Really good. Is Pirate's Booty corn? Okay, I mean like corn flavored. Cause you know Pirate's Booty is usually cheese flavored. This is like, actually what does it taste like? It's, it has a specific, or no, it tastes like, it tastes like corn, those like puffy Cheetos, but corn flavored, I think. <laughs> but yeah, this is good. This is also a 10 for me. So my two 10s are um, this and this. And then these were all okay, these three. They were all fine. This one, immediately in the trash can. I mean, I hate wasting food, but like, no, I can't, I just can't. Yeah, go to your local Asian supermarket and see if they have any of these types of like foamy snacks because it's pretty interesting. 
Thanks to those of you who have recently subscribed. I'm noticing a few more subscribers each and every day, so I do thank you for your support. And for those of you who are not subscribed, subscribe. I really want to get, make it to a thousand, like sometime soon. I've been <laughs> I've been having this channel for many many years, and um, it would be great to reach that milestone. Maybe even by the end of the year, like, should I be so bold? I don't know. Um, but yeah, please help me out with that goal if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.